my name is Saidi Gonzalez, I am from Kiva, and I'm here to present you Amarillo BNB. Amarillo BNB is my family home. There I rent three furnished rooms for travelers from many different countries, so it is an Airbnb. Why I do share my space? So, I studied literature and linguistics. It's a beautiful career, but it's not exactly the one which, give, uh, which will give you enough money. Uh, so, I have to create a different business. So in this, I met this amazing boyfriend who had a large house <laughs> with a couple of spare rooms in which he intended that we live together. But his mother lived there, and she has a mental ill. <laughs> in this situation, I had to define what the shames were and determine that it was transformed this family home into a business in order to earn enough money for keeping away the Anton's mom and keep her very, very happy but away. So, because if the world gives you lemon, make lemonade. <laughs> so the, uh, the main challenges that my business faced in the beginning was the big amount of competitors with an established presence in TripAdvisor, Cubayon, Kipeben Viñales, Casas Cuba, which are the, the most important websites, platforms, uh, login platforms in Cuba. What I did, so Airbnb was just starting to work with Cuban hosts, and I decided to focus on being among the first res uh, search results on Airbnb and all my efforts were focused in becoming super host and make my house the best accommodation in Santa Clara listed on the Airbnb platform. How? Easy. We start to follow international calls and uh, aesthetics and services. And it worked. So, but, this is fast like this, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but it looks like nothing is enough when you are inserted into the business of the hospitality and service. And I applied for the wildlife program. And here I was placed in the Oakers Inn, and there I have been receiving training, learning, and I have been evaluating, comparing, and getting good practices. I realized that the main distinction of my business is location. We are right in the center of Santa Clara. Uh, this is, this is got, must be different, but <laughs> we are right in the, in the center of Santa Clara, and we have a very good position in the, in the city. And the other good thing in my business are services. Uh, when I talk about services, I talk about how nice our staff is. I'm talking about the housekeeper, I'm talking about the people who prepare the breakfast, I'm talking about the Laura, the housekeeper, smile, and my own smile. <laughs> so, would we have to promote uh, a lot this, uh, our services, our location, our business, to make our business more uh, recognized with marketing. So. What is going to happen in the future with Amarillo BNB? So Amarillo BNB uh, is not going to be Amarillo BNB anymore. Will be Amarillo Inn, uh, not a family house. Uh, we are focused in get in offer more services and smiles. So in order to get more reviews in TripAdvisor and Airbnb, we are opening new cozy rooms and redesigning all the existing areas in order to become in the prefer uh, in your preferred choice for your stay in Santa Clara, Cuba. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what effect have you seen of the drop in travel restrictions to Cuba? I'm sorry? How? The U.S. has eliminated so, yeah, travel actually, restrictions actually to Cuba. Right now, uh, Airbnb started with Cuba in April of two, 2015. And we start to receive, in the beginning was just for tourists from America. Yeah. And we start to receive a little amount of people from America. But in this year, so we, uh, after the Obama visit and with all the, the restrictions, we are receiving a lot of people from America. And right now, I can say that the 70% of my occupation is here from here, from USA. And this is great. <laughs> How many other properties on Airbnb are you competing with? In your city? In my city, everyone is in Airbnb, but I am already the number two in the search uh, results, so it's great. <laughs> what did you do to drive that position? Why I do? Uh, yeah, how, I do? how did you get to be number two? So, your services, good services. Yeah. It's like, and really smile and attend all the requests. It's yeah. exactly what I do. Do you think you have any room to put your prices up? My prices up? Yes, of course. And I'm focused, I was thinking that I don't want to have 10, uh, 100 rooms and uh, charge the, the one, the amount that I'm charging right now that is just $40 for each one of my rooms. I'm focused and get just 
10 rounds and charge 100 for each one of them. Mm -hmm. So they'll all be in, all the rooms will be in the same house? Yes, we own, right now we own three rooms and when I go home, I will open the fourth room because we are moving. It's the reason because it's not gonna be a house family anymore. Mm -hmm. So the fourth room and we are focusing by in this high season, the one of the apartment upstairs to build two more rooms. Could you describe some of the additional services you mentioned? Yes, of course. When the people come, so in Cuba we don't have internet. So when the people come, they have a lot of questions, you know? And they are like, for example, they don't know what to do, what, where to eat, and all these things. Just when they arrive, of course, I give the mojito. <laughs> <laughs> and then I give a map to explain the most interesting places of the, my city. My city is famous for Che Guevara. I don't know if you know about it. And Che Guevara, and then I book taxis for them, other accommodations around in Cuba for them. All that they ask, I try to be helpful. <laughs> do you bill for that, or is that just something you're really, that's your brand? My brand? Yeah, do, is that something that you actually get paid Charging. for in addition to paying the, you know, what they pay for the room, or you provide those services for free? No, as for an free. I provide those services for free. Mm -hmm. so. 